What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So I went ahead and I've compiled maybe five to six of a lot of the very good lectures from my Mercari course specifically. And what they basically will teach you is how to grow your Mercari store, uh, how to sell more on the platform, how to make more money reselling products on Mercari. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now I went ahead and I've outlined the timestamps in the description if you're interested in when those actual you know lectures or topics will be covered and what will be covered in this video at what points in time. So so if you're interested and you don't just want to watch it pull through, then obviously you can check out the timestamps in the description. So with that being said, let's just jump in to the Mercari tips. Number one now is to list your prices high. By listing your prices higher than normal or higher than retail value, you'll be able to accumulate more views and more likes. You'll also then be able to use the most valuable tool that Mercari gives sellers, which is the promote button. If you list your prices too low, not only will you miss out on chances to sell your products for more initially, but you'll also miss out on the chance to continue to promote your products to the people that have viewed and liked your listings. Now, the reason for this is because Mercari stops you from promoting at a certain price point where it's no longer profitable for them. So by listing your prices higher, you'll get an opportunity to sell them for more profit initially, obviously. You'll then get an opportunity to promote more times over the lifespan of that particular listing. And you'll also be able to drive up the perceived value of your item so that if you do make an offer through the promotion button in the future, well, there'll be more perceived value on the customer's end. That ties me into tip number two, which is to promote, promote, promote. Promoting my listings is the single best way that I sell on Mercari. Now, sure, every once in a while, you know, I just list something and it sells right away, maybe because either there was either higher demand on the marketplace than usual for that item, or one of my followers saw it and, you know, they wanted it for whatever reason. But most of the time, I have to use the promote button to drive sales and increase my visibility on the platform. Now, there's two main ways to promote your listings on Mercari. Now, the first one is to promote to likers by making an offer lower than the listing price. And this will send a notification to all those likers on that listing that you've offered the item they've shown interest in by liking it to them exclusively for a lower price, right? The second is to promote it site-wide. And this drops your listing permanently 5% lower than its current price, and you won't be able to raise it back up. Although the benefit of that is that Mercari will start to promote your listing across the platform to more people that they believe might be interested in your listing. Now, promoting to likers is a great way to drive sales. Promoting site-wide is a great way to potentially make more sales, obviously, but more so I use it to accumulate more likes and eyes on my listings so that I can promote in the future and sell them to those likers in the future. None of this matters, though, if you've already listed your item too low, because the higher you list your item, the more promotions and the more times, obviously, you can use the promote button in the future. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you want to, you know, list stuff at outrageous prices to, you know, be able to promote hundreds and hundreds of times, right? But it does mean that you'll want to list everything higher than you believe, you know, its perceived value is or whatever it's worth or what you think it will sell, right? So then you want to use, once you do list it higher, like we talked about, then you want to use the promotions to drive interest, and drive sales. Tip number three is to accumulate reviews. Now, just like any e-commerce platform, the more social proof that you have a set as a seller, well, the easier it will be to actually then sell. Now, this put means potentially selling stuff in the future and initially for less profit than maybe you might have wanted to just for the positive review. The more reviews you accumulate, the higher you can price stuff in the future and the less buyers will think twice about purchasing from you in that future. Now, don't get me wrong. When I first started selling on Mercari, I sold practically everything for a profit and most items I did actually list higher than that. Although there were also plenty of items that I took ridiculously low offers on or sold for zero profit or like 10 cents profit because I understood that those sales would then lead to more five-star reviews, which would then obviously lead to more sales at higher prices in the future. Now, when most buyers come to my store, well, they don't even think twice about purchasing 
anything because they see the social proof and they just innately trust. And this tip is super crucial no matter what platform you're selling on, but especially on Mercari. Tip number four is very similar to that last tip, obviously, and that is to accumulate each one of the seller badges or as many of the seller badges as possible. And they also display on your store's homepage along with the reviews and will help increase your store's social proof on the platform. These badges include the member since badge. So mine specifically says member since 2017, since that's when I joined. Now I joined in 2017 and I don't think I ever listed anything until late 2018, early 2019. But obviously this isn't something that's super, super important. So this is probably the least important badge. You know, really all it displays is, you know, how long and how trustworthy your store's been, been being for an extended period of time, obviously assuming that you've been doing it for a while. So you really don't have to worry about this one too much, although it can help as you build a store into the future. The second one is a fast responder badge. To get this badge, you'll want to respond to all messages in a timely fashion. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to have the app open every minute, checking it to make sure that you're not getting messages, okay? But what it does mean is that if you do see one of those push notifications and those little red notifications next to the Mercari app, well then check it because it could be a message. The f and it could also be a sale as well, which would be great for you, right? So the faster you respond to these messages, not only will you get the potential badge, but it will also result in happier customers, which will then result in more reviews and better reviews for you in the future. The third one is the quick shipper badge. And this is pretty self-explanatory. You know, customers like fast shipping. So do your best to ship products out on the days that they've been ordered. Now, if this, or, you know, really realistically, if you can't do that as fast as you possibly can. The last one is the reliable badge. And you can get this badge by having a large majority of your orders delivered to buyers, which is pretty self-explanatory as well. Now that means basically just don't cancel any orders or cancel very few orders or you know, don't get any orders that are lost in the mail. So obviously that goes without saying, and this is pretty easy to control, but this is another one that you can get pretty easily if you're not drop shipping or anything like that. You shouldn't really worry about can too many canceled orders or you know, undelivered orders or anything like that. Most sellers are gonna be able to get this one fairly quickly. And badges play a big part in customer trust on Mercari, so if you can, go out and try to get that. Finally, tip number five is to offer free shipping. Now I talk a lot about offering more listing value than your competitors, regardless of if those competitors are actually on that same platform or a completely different platform. Now that means that you're not only competing with other Mercari sellers for a sale, but it means that you're competing against other sellers across other platforms that are selling similar items everywhere, okay? So that means online, retail, Amazon, Poshmark, any other site, any similar listing you're competing on, okay? So since companies like Amazon and others have really kind of reset the market and most buyers now expect fast and free shipping, well, it really makes your listings more attractive to the buyer if you also offer fast and free shipping. That's where that comes into play. So there you have it, guys. Five tips to sell more on Mercari and make more money on the platform. So another thing I really wanted to touch on really briefly is one of the new things that they implemented, you'll see once you start logging on to Mercari that you basically get a number of badges, right? So if you see here, like you'll get like the verified on, on through email badge, right? The verified identity badge. And one of the things that you want to go after too is the verifying like the, the ID badge. So you can send in your license or your ID card, right? to Mercari, so you basically take a picture of it to verify, verify who you are and your identity. And that will give you another badge. Now, is this required by any means? No, it's not required by any means. That said, it will help other buyers buy from you with confidence, and it's all about giving that kind of extra badge that might increase your sales. So you don't have to do it, but I would recommend sending in and submitting an ID or a license for the ID verification badge so that other buyers will know that, hey, Mercari has verified this person, they know who this person is, even if I personally don't, right? Because I sell from my from my e-commerce business name, Lively Listings, so nobody knows who I actually am on the Mercari platform, right? But that said, 
the other people know that hey mercari has verified who i am so mercari knows who i am so they can buy with me from me with trust so i recommend you don't have to do it but i recommend sending in your id and your verification uh to get your id or sorry to get your verified id badge on mercari it will and should as they say increase your sales so another thing I really want to talk about briefly too is, and I covered this in you know the intro module a little bit when I covered the course overview, is the difference in strategy of where you are at, right? So a lot of people get carried away in like listing super, super high originally, and that's definitely a strategy to get sales. Although I would recommend that when you're just starting out, list a bunch of stuff super, super cheap or you know right around super, super cheap so that you get the initial few sales, maybe like 10 to 20, so you can get initial 10 to 20 sales and initial 10 to 20 reviews because the more you have five-star reviews on your account, you'll start to notice that the more of these you actually have, the more people will buy from you with confidence and they won't even think twice about it, right? To give you an example, and this is relevant from eBay and this is relevant for Mercari as well, and obviously we're talking about specifically Mercari, when I first started selling on Mercari, I had like five five-star reviews, right? Or like 10 five-star reviews, right? And I would list things super, super cheap, but they wouldn't sell. And I'd list other things or sell as fast. And I would list things like higher and they just wouldn't sell, right? But that's because not many people would come to my, to my closet or my listing and see this person has only sold five things or only has five reviews. They wouldn't, they would trust me, but they wouldn't trust me as much, right? So as I started accumulating more and more reviews and more five-star feedback, now people come and they don't even think twice about it. They just think, oh, great, great, great product. The, the, mar the, the price is there. And oh, this trusted seller buy. I don't even think twice about it, right? So what I'm trying to say is you might want to, and you don't have to go this route, but I would recommend that you do with a few items initially. And the, the benefit of this course that I'm giving to you is you can get free items, which you can then sell cheaply initially to get your initial reviews and then you can still get those free items to then make higher margins in the future right so list some things and take a few hits uh, you know selling cheap items originally to get some reviews and some social proof so that in the future once you have some reviews down you can sell things higher prices and they will sell a lot faster once you have social proof so now I wanna to touch a little bit more about the SEO in your listings and the value there. Now, one of the benefits of Mercari is that you can obviously, just like on any platform, you can upload pictures that are saved with metadata and I'll cover what that means in a second, okay? And that's gonna increase your SEO and the potential visibility that you get on the platform. You also get over a thousand, I think it's a thousand characters actually, specifically, you get three um, You get three hashtags to give you more visibility so you can index your products correctly, right? And you also get a thousand characters in your description. So you wanna utilize everything that they offer to you to get the most SEO bang bucks so that A, you're giving Mercari more information to suggest it to the people that it knows might be more inclined to like this because just like, to give you an example, like Facebook, right? Facebook has data on everybody. So people that run ads on Facebook can use Facebook's data to then suggest their stuff to you know the people that are more inclined to like it, right? Same overall idea with any marketplace or any platform and same thing with Mercari, right? So you wanna give, by, by giving SEO, and SEO is just search engine optimization, for those of you that don't know, by giving uh, Mercari the most potential valuable information and indexing your item properly, it's gonna do two things, right? A, it's gonna increase your search visibility because if somebody comes and searches for you know hooded sweatshirt, you're gonna have more potential to show up for that as opposed to other listings that don't do their SEO very well. So you're gonna have more visibility in search. You're also gonna have more suggested visibility because you're gonna give Mercari more information to then suggest this item to people that it already knows are more inclined to buy that, right? And that's how SEO works. It works twofold, right? Not just search, it works twofold, search and suggested. So to implement this right, here's an example of a product that I literally bought on Amazon a few days ago that I just listed on Mercari, same overall business model that I'm teaching you guys to do, right? And I listed a little bit high so I can slowly drop the price down. So what I would wanna do is I'd wanna save all these pictures, right? And then I'm gonna take them in here. But I don't just wanna save this and I have to actually snip this picture out. Some of these you have to snip and other ones you can just click, right click and save. But this one doesn't look like I can do that. So I take my snip tool on PC and I'm just gonna snip out the picture, right? And then what do I save this picture this picture as, right? Do I just save it as one? No. Do I just save it as hoodie? No. I wanna save this with the most SEO'd out potential pe picture possible because the more times I, I upload a picture that's named 
women's casual hoodie, long sleeve sweatshirt, crew neck, drawstring hooded pullover is going to give it, it more SEO and visibility on the platform because you're saving your picture and you're increasing the picture's metadata to index for those keywords, okay? So that's a lot. If you don't understand it, just rewind like a minute and replay it. So put simply, you always want to save your pictures as keywords, right? So what do I want to save this as? Well, maybe I save it as women's casual hoodie long sleeve right i'm not just saving this as one i'm not just saving this as hoodie i'm not just saving this as sweatshirt i'm saving this as women's casual hoodie long sleeve sweatshirt sweatshirt um drawstring hooded pullover top right and i save that as one and the next thing i come to picture two and i save it literally as the same exact thing Save it as the same exact thing. And you'll see I literally did this with the, with the same padded right here. So I'm not just telling you that I do this. I'm saving it the same exact thing, but now I'm saving it as two. So then when I go and I upload this to the listing, I know exactly where I'm where I'm coming from it and all this picture's metadata is saved when I upload it, right? So Mercari's not just getting information, they're not just getting information of the pictures and what's in the listing, they're getting the metadata in the pictures that says what is in this picture that allows them to increase the search visibility for what it actually is and also allows them to increase their suggested, uh, you know, and target the the more the people that are more inclined to potentially buy this hooded sweatshirt, drawstring hooded pullover, okay? So make sure you're using all of that. Another thing that you wanna do, right, is you wanna use all your potential description. So if you have a thousand characters, make sure you use up to as close to a thousand characters as you potentially can. And a lot of Amazon listings are like over a thousand characters, so you can literally just copy and paste the description and bring it over and make sure it looks streamlined, okay? Use everything. So to go back into this to show you what I did, I think I used practically as much as I could for this listing. So I took everything out of it. So 765 characters. I used the title almost. I used all the pictures. I um, I don't think I could find a brand name because it was a private label product. But if there's a brand you want to put that in there, it's going to help index it. I have three, key, uh, three keywords here in hashtags. I categorized it as a hooded sweatshirt. And I gave them all the potential metadata and all the potential SEO that I could potentially do. Too often I see people, and this is you know the same on Poshmark and Mercari as well, is they'll buy something and they'll try to sell it, but they don't. They they write like a sentence in their description, or they don't bother to fill out the keywords or the hashtags. And it's like, why would you not do that? Give them all the potential SEO now, so that slowly over time, as it sits there, you'll have more eyes and potential views on that, which means more potential sales. All right, so I want to talk really briefly about a new feature that I've noticed when you're actually listing on Mercari from the app, okay? And this is strictly just listing from the app. A lot of what I teach and, you know, a lot of what I do personally is listing from the computer because usually it's either like a cashback product if I'm listing on, on a site like Mercari or even Poshmark or eBay or something like that, right? I'm either listing it from a liquidation palette or a cashback product. And so there's usually either a product catalog or another spot online where I'm grabbing the pictures, the details, you know, the description, all that good stuff. So it's easier in a lot of ways to, you know, list it back from the computer most of the time, okay? Now, if for example, you're going out to thrift stores or you're sourcing somewhere or, you know, sourcing from a, a garage sale or something where it's difficult for you to actually, you know, there isn't actually a place where you can take the pictures and the description and, you know, or maybe even a liquidation palette that doesn't come with a lot manifest that you can't check, right? So like you need to take your own product pictures yourself, then chances are you're gonna be listing from the actual app, okay? And this new feature is gonna help you out a lot. So what it basically is, is it's a new pricing feature when you list directly from the mobile version of the app, obviously, that tells you at the very end, once you input your price and you go to actually list it, tells you what they recommend you actually list that product for, okay? Now this is really beneficial because it's literally gonna give you a little, and I'll pop these pictures up on the screen so you can kinda see three different examples of that same product. It's gonna show you an example of like, hey, if you list it you know, within this tier of the, of the pricing, then you're gonna sell it relatively fast. That's what they're guessing and suggesting to you based on other relevant you know, things on the platform that are selling at that price point, how fast they move. So you can obviously expect yours to move a little bit faster if you list it there or a little bit under, right? Now, the sweet spot obviously is in the middle, right? So not too low, but not too high, then obviously it's going to sell, you know, 
fast, but you're gonna make a margin on it, which is usually ideal, right? Or it might sell a little slower, but you're still gonna make your margin, right? Now you'll see that once you get into the red, you'll start to see that, hey, this is a warning. This is a slow sale. If you list it this high, chances are it's going to either not sell or take a long time to sell because a lot of other similar items are priced below you on the platform. So if somebody else is searching for an item like that, there's a very low chance that they're gonna buy yours because your price is a lot higher than other similar items on the platform, right? So your best bet in that aspect, if you're gonna list it high and you see the red, and I do this all the time, it's okay if you do it, is to promote to your own followers by using the promote button to drive it site wide or use the promote button and accumulate obviously likes, right? And then use the promote button to drop your price and convert likers to buyers, okay? That's the real, really the only reason and way that you're gonna really convert a lot of buyers if you list it high, right? So I just wanted to kind of touch on this new pricing feature that you see when you actually go to list on the Mercari app. It's really, really valuable. It's gonna tell you where you are in the pricing structure. So if you guesstimate that you're about to list something, something for 30 bucks, right? There's no guessing anymore. You don't necessarily have to go out and do all the product research yourself or do this through the search bar on Mercari on your computer and see what other products are out there and what they're selling for. Mercari is literally gonna tell you when you're about to list like, hey, you're a little bit low or hey, you're a little bit higher. Like, hey, you're right in that perfect tier and you can either raise your price or lower it. So really hope that that helps. Check it out, test, you know, list something from the app. You'll see that it, you know, how it actually is set up and you'll also be able to really, really easily see how it's gonna help you going forward. All right, so I wanna talk really briefly about two ways that you can promote on Mercari to really step your game up here. So uh, really briefly, looks like this person just is about to make me an offer, um, completely unreal. Oh, just got a sale, that's cool. All right, so we're not gonna focus on that really fast. I just wanna show you two ways to promote your listings that are really gonna help benefit you and help you sell more on the app okay so two ways to promote if you see right here you see the promote button on the left of these listings you'll see that this top one the orthopedic eye patch has no likes but it's gotten three views the microderma roller has gotten 11 views and it's got one like the cervical neck traction has one like and 11 views iphone x Ma xs max case has one like and 24 views and it's a really great way to show you you know how really the demand of certain products and obviously a lot of these are new i just listed them like the past like two days because i'm selling a lot of stuff really really fast but you'll start to see like some things accumulate like four likes and 36 views uh six likes and 37 views four likes and 134 views with the with the glock holster so as you leave them a little bit longer they're going to get more views and more likes which then you can promote to more likers so if you're patient it's really going to benefit you so if you hit this promote button there's two things that are going to pop up promote to likers only and then promote to everybody both of these work very very well what promote to likers are is you're going to offer a private discount so i actually have i believe used out all my uh my my promote to likers for the day um like I, i've promoted this one all the way down to six bucks um i don't think that i can promote any of the other ones i'm pretty sure that I, i'm limited for the, the current time period and you i'm also limited for um and this is something you'll you'll understand if you don't understand it right away i'm also promoted to uh i can't promote to everybody today because i've already reached my promotional limit so i'm just going to explain to you how you can use uh use these to your advantage so for example let's say that i didn't i i didn't i hadn't promoted this all the way down right so this kitchen culinary blowtorch that sells for $23 has three likes on it. So the very first thing that I might wanna do is promote this to likers. Um, and if I would promote this to likers, I can make an offer to them. And what that's gonna do is they've demonstrated that they're interested in it by liking it. And what liking means on Mercari essentially is that you're basically kind of saving it for later in case the price drops. So a really effective way to prompt sales is to promote to, promote to likers. Now I wouldn't promote this to likers and offer like something really, really, you know, barely cutting anything. I wouldn't offer it like $19 because you see it sells for 23. So maybe I'd drop it all the way down. And remember, I got this for free on a cashback website. So it didn't cost me anything, it's 100% profit. So I might promote this, uh, you know, to likers and offer them like $13, $10 off, right? Boom, that probably most likely would prompt a sale. And I'd still probably net like nine bucks on that. So I just made $9 for grabbing this, listing on Mercari, waiting like a week and promoting it to likers because I got it on a cashback web website. And that is the power of online arbitrage, especially with the cashback websites. But really with anything, a few of these have gotten on, um, on a 
coupon websites as well, and some of them are from liquidation pallets, but the majority of these I think are cash back that I list on Mercari most of the time. Now, another way, so here's another great example, 10 likes, 119 right here on this uh, this adapter. So another way that you could promote if, for example, you didn't have any likes, so if you do accumulate like more than one like on it, so that's like this two right here up top and this 10. Those are things that you're gonna wanna promote to likers. But this right here, the, the tournament size ladder ball set has 29 views so people are viewing it, but nobody's liked it yet. So in that case, what I might want to do is I might want to promote it to everybody. And what that will do is it will drop it like a buck or two and then promote it site-wide. Mercari is just going to show it to a lot more people. It's going to bring more views and potential eyes on that so that you can accumulate likes on it too and even a potential sale. So that's the two main ways to use the promote button to sell more. It works very, very well. As you'll see here, I literally just got a sale on this by doing so. So... Use that to your advantage, it will really help you sell. Now I wanna cover relisting old products or products that don't seem to be selling or products that don't have a margin for you anymore. What, what it can do wonders for you if you relist it. Now one of the things that you'll notice with Mercari is when you list an item and the amount of views that it initially gets, not always the case, but the amount of views that it initially gets does play a huge role in the overall you know um, trajectory of the views that it might get or the likes that it might get originally. So what I'm trying to say, if none of that makes any sense, right, is let's say for example, these are all the newer items that I've listed, right? So we have this sports ball for 25. It's not showing you how many likes there are currently as my dog's trying to get up on the table. We just got a puppy down pen teaching right now. Um, I'm going to keep that in. I'm not even going to cut that out. She's so cute. But so what I'm trying to say is the, the initial ones, right? Are, you know, you're going to get views and likes on them and the price is set somewhat higher so that you can slowly drop it down as you start promoting your listings, right? But if we scroll all the way to my the bottom of my closet, you'll see some of the things that have sold, you know, and, and some of the things that haven't sold, right? So this is all the way down to nine bucks right now and I've already promoted to all my likers um, at... Uh, what, what is it like under six bucks, which is I think is the cheapest that you can go right so same thing with like uh, This shirt right here, right? So the chances of me selling this for a profit are very very slim now because I've promoted it to the point where the listing is so cheap and all the likers there is no more potential to offer to the likers so what I'm trying to say is what you want to do is start listing it higher and higher and higher like these initially and then slowly drop it down and offer to likers and slowly drop it down to offer to likers by creating that error or that that illusion of essentially of creating value in the listing because if somebody let's say hypothetically this is only valued at like 15 or 20 bucks right but i list it at 30 bucks and then i start as it accumulates likes and as it accumulates views i promote it more and i start offering to likers right and it drops it down to like 25 bucks or makes an offer for like 20 bucks to a liker well that creates the illusion of value because they're getting a 30 dollar what they see is a 30 dollar product for 20 bucks instead of potentially getting a 20 dollar product at, at face value right so while you're doing that if for whatever reason this strategy fails for you you can simply take this and this listing for a perfect example is nine bucks and there's no really opportunity. Look, it dropped all the way from 45 bucks because I promoted it so much and it dropped all the way there. So what I want, might want to do instead is just take this, delete this old item and you want to do that afterwards, obviously. So what I want to do is if I click this right here, I go to sell and you can do this with all your old items that aren't selling very well. And you're just going to re-index them like I've talked about before. So you're going to take all these pictures, you're going to download them, save them, and literally just copy, paste everything over, create a brand new listing, and then delete the old one, right? So you're going to have a brand new listing now that sells for, originally, I think it was like 45 bucks or whatever it was. Let's check it. It was, I think it was 45 if I remember correctly. 45 bucks, and then you have another potential chance to slowly drop it down and, and re-index it right and make offers to likers. So if something doesn't work originally, don't just leave it that low, right? Re-list it and then make more offers in the future. Eventually it will work and it will sell for you for a profit. So there you have it, guys. That's about five or six of my favorite Mercari lectures and tips that are gonna help you sell more on the platform and make more money. Don't forget the free cheat sheet with you know a lot of my favorite sites is linked down in the description for free. You can also check out the free case study down there as well, showing six of my most profitable and favorite business models that I actually get Merc uh, products for Mercari as well as other sites down there as well, as well as Online Arbitrage Pro and a uh, 9.99 discount link for the next five days 
specifically to get into my Udemy Mercari course. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you do appreciate the value in it, and I'll see you in the next one.